There you just heard Dak Prescott. I don't know if I agree with their statement to take the safety. How about well, no. how, how about we just run the ball and not be back there uh uh front running? <laughs> well, that 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 goes by way of your offensive coordinator uh yeah. doing that type of thing. But uh Dak's a thousand percent right about that. Uh you don't want to give up points, period. Uh, but in that situation, a safety, it's just two points, and you get to punt the ball and get your defense out of the way. Uh, I, I like my chances of asking my defense to prevent them from going 70 yards as opposed to a turnover on the five-yard line and holding them out. So uh, I like the idea, but let's, let's just not even – let's not get Whoa. into those type of situations. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's a buddy of mine or whatever. Uh, and, and, and and that's fine. Um, we, 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 on this show tonight, we're only going to talk about teams that won. So, so they, <laughs> they won't be relevant uh, this week. Maybe they can try again next week and we'll see uh, how that works out for them. Yeah. We'll only, we'll only discuss the teams that, that actually win football games uh, tonight. But we will, but we will be talking about them at some point tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll it'll be a quick. It'll, it'll it'll be the quickest. It'll be the quickest seven seconds you'll see. Well, I can't, but I can't confirm that we will not. Be, we are not hosting the 49, 49ers in Dub City. I don't seem to have them on my list as a reservation up in uh, Dub they, City they, this week. They 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 like they like taking. They like taking. They don't they don't enjoy going out celebrating too much. Yeah, we used to serve L's at twelve. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'll they'll be away for them. Don't worry. Don't well, you worry. Billy, well, Billy, uh, speaking of the Dallas Cowboys, as we're hearing hashtag Cowboys Nation talk, let's talk about some news and stuff that's going on with the Cowboys. <laughs> First off, let's start off with this Leo Collins guy um, taking a page out of one of my books and taking a bribery role here with mm-hmm. uh, with his drug test. What, what's going on here? What are we doing? Uh- well, you know, to be honest with you, I, I I didn't really just follow the story like that. I knew there was a suspension. Uh, I have recently heard that there was some type of bribery robbery uh, that that had taken place. Uh, from what I understand, he offered a bribe to the drug uh, examiner, the drug test examiner. Uh, am I getting that correct? Right. Uh, and that's been found out, and by way of that, now he has. Uh, his five-game suspension is now currently being upheld. Uh, that's a bonehead move by Leo Collins. Uh, boneheaded. It's, it's not you smart. Think they were gonna find out, right? Yeah, that's not smart at all. Um, it's. I just I, I can't quite understand it, man. And Leo Collins doesn't come across to me as a guy who would be a character issue guy. This could just be an isolated incident. Uh, but I mean, I, they, come on, guys. I mean, if you messed up, go ahead and own up to it. Be accountable for it. Okay, let's move past it. Because the more we're, oh, I didn't do this. The more I didn't do that. Now you're now you're costing the team more. You're already putting us at jeopardy to begin with. Now you're extending it. Okay, uh, from what I understood, I can't remember who I was listening to, but. Uh, they were saying that if if we would have just not appealed it from the beginning, it would have just been a simple two game suspension. I think we could all appreciate that right now. Right. Hell, he'd be back what this upcoming week. Right. But because you want to play that risky game, now you got five games. And you know we're, we're fortunate right now that Terrence Steele is not too bad at that right tackle. In fact, he's actually his name didn't come up too much at all. Uh, yesterday either so maybe we're getting lucky in that way but what man i much rather have an all pro right tackle over there man uh uh that that's uh that's going to give Dak more time and more running lanes for zeke and tony pollard off the edge uh come on lyle collins just be better be better man we can't have this yeah that was definitely i mean i've heard of some things before but that's that probably just takes the case and, and and you're doing it in the, with the Cowboys too, man. You know it's going to get magnified, man. You guys got to know that. Who's over the PR over there? Is that Rich Dow Ripple and those guys Rich, down Rich, there? Rich Rich Dow Ripple is still in charge over there. 
Come on, Rich. Get it. Come on, do a better job. It's not your fault, but come on, Rich. We got to. We got to hey. have some more tutelage going on hey, down there. Fix this shit, Rich. As the quote. Yeah, in the words of Dance Bryant. Yeah, <laughs> fix this shit, Rich. <laughs> you gotta fix this shit, Rich. Shout out to Des Bryant. He was all up in the building last night, man, if you guys yeah. weren't aware of that. Yeah. Uh, love how he showed love to the 88 Club, man, to the great Drew Pearson, Hall of Fame Drew, uh, the great Michael Irvin. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, of course, himself, as he calls himself, the X-Man. And then, uh, of course, C.D. Lamb. He had a whole C.D. Lamb jersey on last Whoa. night. Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. What are you, what are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? What are you doing right now? How what, throwing up the X? You, how dare you skip over Antonio Bryant like that? Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> he was part of that 88 club. Yeah. So Drew you Pearson, guys, Michael Irvin, Antonio Bryant, I remember yeah. him. You guys never uh, show and you guys never show Antonio Bryant any that, love. Those those are the Quincy Carter years. I remember that big catch he had on the sideline against the Giants that one game. I right, remember, right? Yeah, I remember right. Antonio Bryant. Yeah. You know what? I'm here. I am here to bring back the name of Antonio Bryant. Shout I'm out to, to Antonio back. Bryant. I'm gonna find yeah, him on here to, Twitter, I'm man. I'm gonna have to apologize. You guys just passed right over Antonio Bryant like he doesn't yeah. even exist. Like well, he we even we matter. got we got to stop. He got that 88 for a reason, man. He was pretty yeah. good. The, the original Bryant, if you want to call him that. The original. Okay, well, all right. We'll go with that. But uh, yeah. here's a question I want to ask you, Billy. How good is Trayvon Diggs right now? <laughs> Man, well, that's a great question. Uh, Trayvon Diggs, based on what he's doing, mm -hmm. while this kid is playing some damn good uh, cornerback, man, this guy is playing at a – I dare I say elite. Elite is just a word we can't just toss around like that. But while he's damn good. Mm -hmm. at, at, at a at a Pro Bowl level for sure. This guy, three interceptions in the first three games of the season. Uh, and while he's not just intercepting the ball, he scored yesterday, but it's not just intercepting the football. Man, it's the competitive nature that he brings. He's bringing a physicality. People are thinking about his cover skills, but while he'll stick his nose in there and tackle as well. Okay. Right. Trayvon Diggs is proving himself to be uh, what he was at Alabama, which was an all-around corner. He'll cover you in the slot. He'll travel. He'll, as, D, as the great Deion Sanders says, he'll choke you at the line of scrimmage. He'll get his hands on you. He'll run with you. You're not going to run by him. Uh, and then if the ball is in the air, 50-50 ball, he feels like it's his. He goes into receiver mode. <laughs> and since he's the better – he has the better receiving hands per Ryan Clark over there at ESPN. Uh, he'll take the ball. Okay. He'll turn into an extra possession for your offense. Uh, while I think after last night's game, Trevon, Trevon Diggs' name is all in the national media. My hope and my prayer, football prayer, is that it doesn't go to his head. Mm. Keep performing. Because with more expectations, now <laughs> when you go into a game against the Arizona Cardinals, oh, Trayvon Diggs, oh, that's going to be a DeAndre Hopkins matchup, okay? When you go and you play against some of these upper, uh, these these elite level teams with, with, with good offenses, are you going to draw the Tyreek Hill assignment? Are you going to... I mean, what, what are you going to do? I mean, you, when you're the man, you're expected to travel and keep their best guy from doing work. As a corner, you're going to get beat. But I'm interest, I'm very interested in seeing how that plays out for him. He's playing tremendous right now, Walt. He's playing tremendous. Uh, top three corner in the league as of right now. So – Speaking of that, uh, we got the what's it the injuries and uh, COVID returns. So as of sure. right now, who we got coming? Who got coming off this list right now? Uh, Mister ne is Mister Neal going to be? I believe Mister. I believe Keanu Neal, uh, hybrid linebacker slash safety, will be available for this game against the Panthers. Uh, from what I'm understanding, Bradley and I should also be back. He'll give you a little uh, pressure off of the edge. Uh, was Doris Armstrong as part of uh, part of that as well? I think so. I think pretty much all of those guys are they're in 
they're they're in the pipeline to return this week. Uh, of course, it's going to be about the testing and that type of thing and how that all works out. Well, uh, uh, oh no, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> well, I was going to say all that's all fine and dandy, but you know what I'm waiting on, man. We're still another week or so removed or away. From your but, guy. Yeah, that that two boss, four man, that boss, boss man, man fat, fat man. The grind <laughs> got, don't stop, man. Got he got a, next. He's got up next. Yeah, he's, he's got, got next. next My man, man, boss man, fat. He's got next on the field and in the rap game, okay? So, my man is all purpose. So, look look for look for boss man fat, you know, between between the hours of noon and 3 or between 3 and 6 or 7 to 10 if we're prime time. Mm-hmm. But then those three hours, he's choking guys at the line of scrimmage, running, making plays. And as soon as it stops, as he said, the grind doesn't stop, man. We're in the studio. We're in the studio. We're about to drop that album, man. That album's okay, dropping right. on Christmas. Okay, okay. The album's dropping. Christmas driving. Day. Christmas, Christmas Day, we're Day. dropping that album. Yeah. Christmas Day, the album is dropping. Okay. I'm part All of right. the entourage. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be there right. for my guy, Kelvin Joseph. You ought to be ashamed of yourself yeah. right now. So, um, also, um, this guy, uh, actually, I was I was on my way home, and I mm-hmm. tuned into that station. And what did you say that I, I, I salute, that I like to salute? Uh, that, uh, that, that would be that 105.3 The Fan over there. Yeah. Shout out to well, Kevin Gray and all those wonderful people over there. I was listening to the show that practically made me, the uh, G-Bag Nation, and okay. uh, maybe there's a guy, maybe you heard of him, maybe you haven't, name's Brian Broaddus. And, uh, yeah, I'm familiar with him. It's funny, you know, me, me and Broaddus, uh, I, I tweeted him and said, I smell what you're cooking about this Michael Gallup situation because I talked about this last night um, in detail on the postgame show, mm. you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Broadus, if I may, seems to think that uh, the Cowboys, you know, since they're not going to be paying Michael Gallup, maybe they should uh, move him for maybe a cornerback or something like that. And I was thoroughly uh, impressed. And I think that's a really great idea. I think that we should move on from Michael Gallup. Cedric Wilson is out there playing pretty good. I mean, why not? And get you, get you a good cornerback. And as Gavin Dawson said, I agree with Gavin Dawson, my, my good friend GD. Um, it's time to push all the chips to the table and go for it. You know, I agree. I, mean, I will. Agree. We need to be we need to be LA Rams uh, a couple years ago and saying who can we get? You know, one year deals, uh, just like we got. Uh, what's it, J. Ron Curse and those guys? Yeah, we need to be trying to figure out who else we can get in here for a meal and push these chips to the table and say. Let's go, let go, let go. But 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 the but the thing is, you mentioned Jaron Curse and guys like Demonte KZ and these guys, Malik Hooker. Mm-hmm. They're talented guys, but there's a reason where it is a a low risk, high reward. In order to win, man, you got to get the names. You have to go get them. You have to. But you but you know what people are giving the credit to? They're giving mm-hmm. credit to my guy, the DQ. They're saying that the DQ has these guys looking. Yeah, he play, does playing correctly. So yeah, saying, absolutely. Who, who else can we who else can we give DQ to mold into something here? Yeah, but but ultimately, I mean, and, and that's fine. Uh, molding a guy into a, a, a good player or seeing what he could do, that's fine. But what about getting some really really talented guys and let him mold that? That's even better, isn't it? Well, uh, we got to stop picking off the scrap heaps, man. We got to stop doing that. I think that. it would be that you would take uh, that you would probably trade Michael Gallup for maybe maybe a third and a fourth, and probably a player back or something like that. Who knows? But you know, figure some way well, to make it happen. A, 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 a great deal, uh, of course, and, and it's a great deal. And the reason why we know it's a great deal because the Cowboys aren't in on it. We don't like doing that type <laughs> of thing. Um, Let me guess, he's not a good fit here. Yeah, well, well, of course he he was never a good fit. They just they all they did was just try to break their neck to get him in the draft a few years ago. Uh, C.J. Henderson, okay, uh, a cornerback, Florida, mm-hmm. top ten pick. Walt, this guy can play the cornerback position. He could play it. And where does he? And where does he play it actually? Uh, right now he's playing for the Carolina Panthers. Really? The, the Carolina cool. Panthers just traded because remember J.C. Horn got hurt and he's gone. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, a lot of people saying possibly for the rest of the year. Uh, he's gone. So what did the Panthers do? They said, no, we're not going to sit here and let that be the end of our season. Let's go get a guy who's pretty damn good that this team is not using. They went, they traded, got a top 10 pick uh, in mm-hmm. C.J. Henderson. Mm-hmm. All they traded was a tight end who's not that great, apparently, mm-hmm. and a third-round pick. 
Okay, that's the equivalent of us saying, okay, uh, depending on how you feel about it, you know how I feel about Blake Jarwin. I wouldn't move Jarwin or Schultz, but let's just say, what's the guy named Sprinkle or whatever his name is? Well, you could definitely move Blake Jarwin. You could get. We're, we're not moving him. He's the better. He's the best <laughs> tight end on the football team. He is. Oh, really? Is he? Yeah, he sure is. Really? How he many sure touchdowns did he score last night? Hey, it's not all about. Him? It's not all about touchdowns. I I, uh, I guarantee. There's the, he got a deal. He he got a deal. There was a reason they brought him back. Don't yeah, let a, uh, a simple injury fool you. Well, he's uh, the best tight end on this football team. I tell you what, Billy. I, I told you before. I don't do participation for trophies. All I know is when you come to Dub City, what, what, you, when you get the special, it's because you put it. You put points well, on the board. That's fine. Got, well, Dalton I, Schultz is Dalton Schultz is one injury away. Okay, whoa, from being in that same position. Whoa, whoa, I'm not whoa, wishing it. Whoa, I'm not wishing it. I'm just telling you the truth. Doing? Blake Jarwin was was next. Shannon Sharp and all those guys were oh, talking about how good it. he was. Yeah, he just got injured, man. That's all it was. You he's can't blame the man for that. He plays football. He's been he's been injured multiple times. No, he really hasn't, man. He had that one injury that was really bad for him, mm-hmm. and it, it messed him up, man. But be that as be that as it is, we uh, 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 regress there. Be that as it is, uh, the Panthers, unlike us, mm-hmm. traded away. A uh, a tight end they weren't really using, and a third round draft pick, and acquired a cornerback that could come right in from day one and start and play at a high level. Those deals are there when teams are trying to move guys. You got to work the phone lines, Will McClay. Not saying he does it. Stephen Jones. Stephen Jones. It's okay to put an extra zero on that check, man. Stop being cheap, Stephen. Yeah, man, stop shopping at the Dollar Tree, man. Go ahead and go go, go to Target, man. Go to Target. Stop shopping at Dollar Tree. And Dollar Tree has great deals, okay? Stop shopping at Dollar Tree. It's okay to go to the mall, man. Go on, get on out there to Stonebriar or North Park, man. Go go buy you something nice every now and again, man. It only helps very ta- I can tell you Dollar Tree is a very tax-friendly place. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. I, I listen before we start. Before this uh, show started, I was at your local Dollar Tree. I was up there picking up a couple of things, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I understand the Cowboys' idea of trying to be cap friendly and pick up good deals, low risk, high reward. But it's got to be the uh, what you call it, the Los Angeles Rams mentality. Push everything to the middle of the table. Hey, we're going for it. If that means Michael Gallup is getting moved. But if you're moving them, make sure you're getting something that can help you right now. Right. Don't move him for a fourth round pick and then try to tell me this guy right here, oh yeah, he's gonna be a great special teams contributor. That's a waste of time. Right. You need to try to get some value. If it's not a second round pick, a, a, and, and and a high second round, a potential high second round pick. Okay. We don't, man. No, or a first rounder of some sort. I don't know if anybody's gonna give up a first. Because he's going to be uh, at, uh, without a contract. Mm-hmm. But whatever you do, if you're going to trade Michael Gallup, you better get some damn value for him. You better get some value. I agree with that. Now, uh, here's a question I have for you. Um, QB1, as you like to call him. Mr. Prescott. Mr. Prescott. My guy. Guy who I can talk about all day. Is he playing himself right into a uh, possible um, MVP type situation? Well, he, he's definitely going to be, uh, barring any major injury, he's going to be comeback player of the year. That's the given. Okay. Uh, MVP, he should definitely be getting, getting talks. The conversation should be there. His name does not need to be void of that conversation. He's going to have to win, Walt. It can't be nine and eight winning a poor NFC East and getting bounced. We're talking about elite level quarterback play. Signature wins is what you're going to need. The games that everyone is watching. Not not the game against the Panthers. That's great. You need to win that. When you play the Chiefs, when the matchup is there, Dak versus Mahomes. Dak versus Derek Carr. Uh, I don't know that we got the Rams, but if we were playing the Rams, Dak versus Stafford. You got to win those games. You have to put up a good effort. You have to perform. Stay away from the stupid turnovers, and your team has got to win. Ultimately, 
that's what's going to help him. He's definitely part of the conversation. He has the ability. Definitely has the ability. And Walt, some would argue, in terms of MVP, that probably has the most talent on his team uh, 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 compared to the other guys that they're mentioning. People are talking Matt Stafford, right? They're talking Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> they're going to talk uh, Tom Brady, of course. Mm-hmm. And, uh, of course, Patrick Mahomes, his name will be in there. I'm sure Lamar Jackson will get mixed in there at some point, maybe. Who knows? Uh, Dak, if you look at his team compared to those guys, you can make a fair argument that Dak probably has the same level of talent, if not more. So, you know, when, when it comes to being the MVP, man, you got to put up the numbers. You got to win. Everything's around him in order for him to go on a run for it. It's on him. It's really on him. I think he could do it. He ha- He's on the grandest stage, which should give him more exposure. But, yeah, should, could Dak be a uh, – is he an MVP candidate? To answer your question in short, absolutely. Does he have a, a strong chance to win it? Yeah, just win the games, man. You could be right there at the end. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, he, he is playing his way in, in my guy, but I got a feeling that uh, your guy up in L.A. might get it this year. Uh, it's, 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 going to be, it's going to be close, man. I think, man, it's just so hard, man. That guy's playing so damn good right now. And, again, it's just week three. We got 14 more games to play. Uh, things can happen and change in a minute, but that guy's just – I think he's kind of pissed off. He's playing to let people know, oh, y'all thought I was just some guy got drafted number one overall and I'm trash. No, I was with a trash organization. Right. Now I'm on the front line. And, man, I mean, he, he – that dude's playing at another level, man. I don't think I've ever seen, seen Matt Stafford. Uh, well, I mean, yeah, every game he's played this year hasn't been great. Uh, but neither has Dax. It's, it's nobody's. I would just think that – Sean McVay understands how to feature Matt Stafford in that offense. I mean, he's a quarterback, but to kind of get the best out of his skill set, mm-hmm. I think Sean McVay is very good at that. Kellen Moore has a tendency to see what the Cowboys are doing well and then go away for it, go away from it for the sake of trying to be cute. Yeah, yeah. That could be the there. difference. Those few turnovers here and there on unnecessary stuff, that could be the difference. But Dak will ultimately be there in that conversation. I don't see him going away. Well, uh, we got to switch gears real quick because uh, Mass Media Day happened. It's Media Day been happening all around the NBA. But uh, we got to uh, go around the NBA because some stuff is happening. We got to talk about Kyrie Irving, Ben Simmons, and the Mavs. So, uh, that damn Ben guy, Simmons. Yeah, yeah. And your guy, Step Back Jack, is, in, is back in full effect. And uh, – we definitely want to show him some love. But uh, actually, I have Coach Kidd uh, right here ready to uh, 